the door. Guys, this trash is so ratchet. I mean, like, right? Yeah. Oh. Hi, guys. It's Grace here. And it's Ava. Sadly, there's no Jordan, but there's a lot of light today. Yeah, like, seriously. So, we decided to make a cute little Valentine's Day little DIY cake stuff. It's not really DIY or like homemade because we kind of like take it out the box because we're yeah. that amazing. It's not and from scratch. If you're a loner like us on Valentine's Day, then this so DIY really make you feel better. little baking, what would you call this? Look. Whatever. Okay. It's so called whatever. We are going to show you how to make your Loner Valentine's Day the Loner so Valentine's cute. Day. Yes, and Did you hear here? that? We're gonna put the fun in feng shui. Fun, feng shui. Okay. Uh, wait, does that start with feng shui? I'll but, Google it. But it. Here's the materials you'll need. How much will need? Yeah, five okay. and one third. So you will need butter. One stick, you'll need one third of a cup, which is. Read it yourself. <laughs> it's um, five and one third tablespoon, which is pretty simple. And then we're going to just need, of course, the cake mix, and we got the butter recipe yellow, and it's the Betty Crocker brand. Mm -hmm. And you guys can use any type if you want to use red velvet, because it's like that time you can or you might even use some like red food coloring which you can't even see my face but you might want to use like that so then it looks more valentine's -y, but yeah yeah you'll need a bowl yeah. i already kind of said this but red food coloring yeah of course a spatula some measuring cups to help you get the measurements a little bit right some eggs eggs are very key to this yes and don't Oh gosh, I can't yeah. drop this. A mixing bowl, obviously. We have one over there. You don't obviously need one. You can probably just mix yeah, it Yeah, we have like the KitchenAid ones where it yeah. does it for you, but you can also just mix it with like a fork or a whisk yourself mm -hmm. if you don't have this fancy of tools because I'm at her house right now and we don't have that kind of stuff. Hands. So. Yes. But yes, you need cupcake pans. Cupcake pans. Yes. And then we also have marshmallow hearts. Yeah, for some decorations, but her and, mom is giving yeah, them at the store right now. right now. And we also have cupcake pan liners. So, yeah. Good. And frosting. Yeah, and we'll frosting. kind of show you that while we're doing and it. And optional, you can get different pipes and stuff. I have some pipes in my pantry right now. But yeah. you can get different pipes, sprinkles, whatever you want on it. To kind of make your it your own. DIY. Your own DIY. Your own so, loner Valentine's Day cupcake. Special. So first you're going to preheat your oven to 350 to 325, depending on how your oven works. And we used a KitchenAid mixer. You can really just use a hand mixer or a normal mixer. And first we add in the cake mix that comes in the box. And you're going to add this in. Then you're going to add the cup of, a cup of water. and. Then you're going to add, well, yes, that's me sniffing it. Um, it you're also, <laughs> after that, you're going to add the three eggs. Make sure they're large, three large, three large eggs. And there's a lot of eggs. Um, I actually got some on my finger, so that was pretty disgusting. Yeah, she got more on her finger than she did on two of the thing. <laughs> yep, it was kind of nice. So here we have our nice little disgusting mix. And right now we didn't video the whole thing, but we're doing five tablespoons and one third of butter, one stick. So we're gonna see how that works out. Then you put it on low and you're going to mix it. This is fast motion, but you, you're gonna mix it for about 30 seconds in the bowl. To have a nice smooth consistency. Yes, okay, so sorry. it's smooth, yeah. And then you're going to get it to medium and you're going to mix it for two more minutes and once that's done you can have your oh that looks so good you're gonna have your cake batter out and you can actually start spooning it or as i did start eating it and it was very good then you're going to line your um cake pans with the cake liners or the cupcake liners 
Then you're just going to start spooning them. I used a one third cup to get it almost all the way up, but you don't want to use all that space so it has time to rise. Put them in the oven and you're going to set the timer for 10 minutes. So, yep, 10 minutes and you're going to put them in for 10 minutes and here we are, they're almost done. Yay, they're done. So now we're going to take them out of the oven. And they, as you can see, we moved them around and it was, we're, we moved them around and we're gonna check if they're done because you usually just use a toothpick to check if they're done. See how they rised? So that's pretty nice. Um, yep, you use a toothpick. They're good. And look how amazing, yay. <laughs> And now you have, we put the cupcakes on something. A um, nice tray. Yes, a nice tray to use. All right, so she kind of looks like a ghost. I swear she isn't though. Um, but after her mom went to the store, she got us um, some whipped strawberry frosting. And so we said that you could use like red food coloring or whatever to make it. Yeah. But since we're having all this pink stuff, we just, we decided not to do that. But then we already kind of eaten some. But we you have, you want to show them? Yeah. Yes. We have jet puffed heart marshmallows. The mom! What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. But we also have these to do like yeah. the frosting. These to do like yeah. the frosting and stuff with. All right. Right now, I'm screwing on the little top for this, and we're gonna do this top first. But there's like so much, it's like overwhelming. But we decided to do this, and so I'm just screwing it on right now because that's so much fun. And then we also have this, and we're going to put icing on there, so then we can have better designs and stuff. So. I feel like they came out really nice and detailed and I was really excited. You can use different kinds of shapes and pipes and other things to do them. So I thought they turned out good. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us because you know you want to and we will have like a lot of cooler DIYs for you guys. And yeah, don't forget to comment. See ya.